It's time to talk about some scale positions for soloing in open E. The best place to start is uh, a position that everyone uses, and it's really very simple. All I'm going to do is go back and forth between the 12th and 10th fret on all of the strings, and then there's one other note, so you'll see what I mean. So let's descend from here. And here's our other note, 9th fret, and then 12, 10 on the low E. Back up. So there's your scale position. You can practice it. Fretting conventionally as well, just to make sure you have it memorized. And when I was playing it there, I was picking every note and stopping every note. So the sounding of a note uh, includes the starting and stopping of the note. They all go together in one thing. Pick it and mute it. And that way you just get a clean note and you don't hear other sounds. Now when you use a slide, one of the great things about the slide is you can slide up to a note or slide back to a note. So sliding up, or a glissando, adds that great vocal quality, especially if you add vibrato as well. You could also slide up and back. It's a good practice to do. And that's what you hear most of the time when people solo. You're going to hear the movement of the slide in different directions. So if you start with a slide up, you might follow with a slide back, and then back up again, and then down. So they alternate. And that's just part of slide technique, and it sounds really good. So what you need to do is your target, where you're going to stop, it's important you really have control over that. So you should practice that on each string as something unto itself. We can expand on this scale position by moving up to the 15th fret. So if I were to show you an example of adding uh, those notes. I've included that in there. We can additionally go higher. We can get another E note up on the 17th fret. So we can add these notes. And if you really want to go higher, I'm going to change to having both pickups on. Right above the screw there, that's the equivalent of the 24th fret. So that's another E note. So it can be a little difficult 
could get that note to sound clear. So those notes are available to you as well. Let's add to that the addition of a C sharp that would be on the 17th fret of the G string. So we had our and then our extended. Well, there's a 17th fret on the B. If we add 17th fret on the G, that's actually making reference to our four chord A. So it's really a nice thing for soloing, even if you're still over E. Bring that C sharp in. So it's a great addition to the rest of the notes that are available to you.